Welcome to Brit Lab. Today we investigate the modern phenomena of tooth whitening and ask, does it harm our teeth? Here in the UK, only 3% of people have had their teeth whitened, compared with 14% in the USA. But despite this, the practice of tooth whitening is on the rise. In 2014, Britain spent £1.86 billion on giving their pearly not-so-whites an overhaul. But how does this process work and is it safe? Who better to ask than a dentist? We start with a consultation to make sure there's no dental caries, for example, or gum disease. Once we've done the dental examination, we're going to make sure that we can get all the soft tissues out of the way so they don't come to harm from the, the whitening gel itself. And once we've got a clean field for the teeth, we apply the gel. And quite often, if we're doing it in the surgery, we're going to use the dental light as well to accelerate the whitening. The main ingredient in whitening gels is usually hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide, but there are laws governing the amount that can be used. What we use in the dentist um, is stipulated by European legislation, so we can't use anything more than 6% hydrogen peroxide. If we use more than that, there's danger of maybe sensitivity to the teeth, um, death to the tooth, or damage to the soft tissues, the gums, etc. So far, so good. But what about the other tooth whitening options available? A cheaper option is a home whitening kit. Now these use the same principle as the dentist, but the solution is a lot weaker. While your dentist can use up to 6% hydrogen peroxide, over-the-counter kits can only contain 0.1%. However, lots of illegal kits have been found on the market, some containing up to 35%. To get a sense of what this means in reality, we took three different concentrations of hydrogen peroxide, introduced some teeth and waited. Afterwards, the teeth in our first solution looked almost the same, suggesting that 0.1% doesn't have much of an effect. The 6% solution made a noticeable difference, enough to whiten the teeth without damaging them. The teeth bathed in 35% solution turned extremely white but that's because this concentration is pretty strong bleach, strong enough to burn your gums and mouth and to damage your tooth enamel. All good to know if you're thinking of buying whitening kits. Fortunately, there's another less expensive route to whiter teeth, which is to prevent them becoming discoloured in the first place. Now, there are a number of factors that you can't control, like increasing age and disease to the tooth. But there are factors that you can control, like what you eat, drink, and if you smoke. All of these affect the colour of your teeth. Things like red wine, coffee and berries contain chromogens, compounds with strong pigments that stick to the tooth's enamel. Tea contains tannins, plant-based compounds which create the conditions for stains to stick to the teeth in the first place. And soft drinks contain acids that make the enamel of your tooth softer and rougher, allowing stains to set in. So my advice would be to avoid the need for whitening by looking after your teeth. But if you do decide to try it... Good news is it won't damage your teeth as long as it's done by a trained professional. For more hints and tips, please subscribe to BritLab and give us your feedback in the comments section below.